Here's a tough question. What do animals like elephants, giraffes, cats, dogs, what do they have in common besides just being mammals? Hmm, I'm not sure. Well, they all walk on four legs. These types of animals are called quadrupeds because quad means four in Latin. Have you ever wondered what type of walking pattern quadrupeds use? Do they all share the same walking pattern or do they walk differently? That's actually a great math question. Did you know mathematics is also the science of patterns? A math pattern is simply a repeated arrangement of anything, numbers, colors, shapes, and so on. You can have number patterns or any other kind of pattern too. So let's figure out what the walking pattern, also known as the gait pattern, is among quadrupeds, and even if there's a single pattern common to them all. And when we get home, let's observe our four-legged friends and see if they walk like our animals here at the zoo do. A lot of us look at four-legged animals like this elephant here at the Dallas Zoo or my cat walking at home, scampering and galloping every day. But it's really hard to really see a pattern quickly with just the human eye. Let's try. I bet if we focused on carefully noticing, we could discover a pattern that describes how each quadruped moves. And we could also see if they have a common walking pattern. That's right. It's a little confusing to talk about the sequence of leg movements in a four-legged animal. So how about we make it easier to communicate? We could name each leg in this elephant or in your cat at home using a letter or number. Then we would be able to define a pattern using those numbers for each animal. Very good. Okay, so what do you think we could call each leg? Hmm, anything you like. I'm gonna keep it simple and starting with the front legs, let's name the front left leg a one and the front right leg a two. And I'm thinking that we can do the same with the hind legs except call the back left leg a three and the back right leg a four. Great, so now that we have named each of the quadruped's legs, I feel like we're ready to compare different animals. Watch carefully, which one moves first? The back left leg went first, then the front leg, interesting. So we start with a three and then go to one. And then the back right leg steps up and then the front right leg. So we can add a four and a two. Nice, so then our pattern becomes three, one, four, two, over and over again. That's back left, then front left, back right, then front right. This is our repeating core, three, one, four, two. Yes, this repeating pattern that we just made is called a quadruped's gait. No matter what four-legged animal we look at in the animal kingdom, we can find the same walking pattern of three, one, four, two across species. I wonder why though. The reason for this is that quadrupeds have all evolved to develop a walking pattern that provides the maximum static stability. That means when walking slowly, the animal's body is always supported by their having three of their feet on the ground, forming a triangle. Did you know that the triangle is the strongest shape of all shapes? So it has a strong base and provides immense support. What about when the animals are walking really fast or running? When different animals move fast, when they gallop or canter or run, their gait patterns may vary a little, but again, there are some repeating patterns you would notice. Thinking about math and walking patterns makes me think about it in music as well. I play the guitar at home, and I definitely can produce different tunes simply by changing the pattern without having to change the notes. I wonder what other things in our everyday life could be described just by using math patterns. I have a feeling math patterns are everywhere around us. You just have to notice them.